everyone and welcome back to DIY Agri, your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner come on fast back to 35 days ago I was saying in a video before I brought these chickens uh, in I was saying that their 35th day would be my birthday and we wanted to see what we would get in terms of their weight on that 35th day and now is day 35 of their life and now today is my birthday too and it's been a busy day actually I just decided to take this time to record this video for you guys and before I show you the weight I have two confessions to make actually there are two confessions you know as a poultry success partner I shouldn't have secrets you know I should tell you everything so that's why I've decided to make these confessions today so two confessions and we're gonna be starting with the first one right away but if you are yet to subscribe to this channel you will want to do that immediately because this is where I teach you everything about poultry farming everything you need to know about poultry this is where you get to learn it and it's very important that you subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos so what's the first confession mm. all right I want you to keep in mind that in this video I'm also going to be showing you the weight of these birds I'm going to be taking their weight like we always do every week and showing you what we have using this skill so what's the first confession again if you have been following me you would know that apart from being a certified animal scientist i'm also an organic poultry farming expert and what do you think i would do to chickens that i would want to eat mm, okay the truth is more than a week ago i stopped giving these chickens antibiotics and other drugs you know i actually switched to organic poultry you know i actually switched to organic medications but you know i didn't tell you guys before now but then i'm telling you already so you know i knew i wouldn't love to eat these chickens with antibiotics as residue inside the meat so i decided to stop giving them antibiotics long time before now as you know i've been treating crd and then occasionally you see maybe blood spots and you want to treat uh coccidiosis even though that is very rare in the flock but then occasionally i've had to tackle coccidiosis so here's one thing that i did i just made these two concoctions and it has been taking care of the situation ever since so i'm going to show you now but you know there's more to this Alright, so this is the first one and this is what I use for CRD. Yeah, of course you must have been hearing and seeing all manner of things that, you know, uh, pepper, cayenne pepper and all that is good for CRD. But I tell you, this is more than cayenne pepper, this is more than ginger, this is more than garlic. There's a lot more inside here. And here is my bitter leaf juice. You see, I've had this for more than, I think about a week now and it's still fresh it still looks green it's not really black because i keep it uh refrigerated so it still look it still looks good and i even served it to the noilers in the cage out there today the noilers are this today these ones are not on it right now they are not on it currently so once again these are the two concoctions that i've made for them and i've been using it for over a week now so in place of antibiotics I've decided to use this. This one too has been in the refrigerator. Oh my God, it's loaded, it's loaded, it's loaded. It's loaded with lots of things. And for your information, if you notice this weather is cold and you know, the atmospheric temperature is generally low, there's high relative humidity and in a broiler flock, you will be having issues like CRD and coccidiosis more often than normal. So you have to get yourself fortified get yourself equipped with things like this and if you think that organic poultry makes sense to you at all then the next few seconds are for you
okay the last edition of this training started the first week of july and ended around 14th of july and guess what everyone was saying from day three or so that this training is definitely more than we paid for and that's exactly what we do we exceed your expectations every now and then it doesn't matter how many organic poultry training you have attended before if you attend this one i tell you it's going to be a different experience entirely and you can put this to a test this is the time that you can actually hold me by my word i mean every word i say so in the last training we had about 112 participants and i believe that in this training you want to be part of this one because people have started registering already and you want to be a part of this so to gain access to the training all you need to do is to find a link to the reception group in the description below I'm also going to be leaving the link in the comment section below. So go there, gain access to it, pay the sum of 5,000 Naira and be a part of those who will be enjoying this August edition of the training. So right now, let's just take the weight of the beds and okay, the second confession. And even though I didn't mean to do it, I think I already mentioned the second confession earlier in the video and which is that I have sold a good number of these beds already. And right now we have only about 40 broilers you know i had to sell some around three weeks uh, or so and also i sold some even today for this salad celebration you know i know for sure we have to select the bigger ones uh, for sale because these people wanted to slaughter them to eat so i had to select the very big ones and i'm still going to find a good number of birds to weigh today so let's quickly take the weight and see what we have using our bucket as usual and um, okay i'm going to put it off and on so we are at zero so i'm going to be picking them maybe we'll just be checking about five of them since we have about 40 here in house sorry okay this one says oh i'm not sure you're seeing it it says 2.110 yeah yeah that's 2110 grams 2.110 kg all right randomly we're gonna pick another one here zero okay this one says 2.3 2.3 1.3 that's 2310 grams I don't know how well you're seeing it. This is it. Okay. Okay, and let me move to this other hand. We have had 2.11, we have had 2.3, one, yeah. Let's have this one too. Yeah, we have a small one here, which is giving us one point eight six yeah one point eight six this is one of the small ones one point eight six okay let me put it down two point one two one one zero three three two three one zero one eight six zero okay i think i should just take one more Just one more should do. And we have, oh, this is big. 2.415, 2.415. Sorry, guy. 2.415. All right, or should we do just five? Five should be a good number. Yeah, from this other angle, we have another one. Yeah, okay, this is another moderate size, 1.965. 1.965. One so we'll get the average of this, and that will be 
and that will be our average rates yeah from what we have available don't forget that i said i already sold a good number so let me do the maths i think i'll do the math and i'll just put it up on the screen because i don't have the other phone here i'll do the math and put it on the screen for you guys to see the average weight so i think that's what we have for now the bears are five weeks old and no 35 days we're just going to carry on from here i don't think there's any need for measurement again because actually these beds are are not being fed too far seven again they just eat when i feel the weather is cool mostly in the morning and in the evening but today the weather seems cool all around so i've actually add the food down for them to eat since morning so that is what we have guys if you are here to subscribe to the channel you want to hit that subscribe button because you are going to gain a lot from this channel so thank you and till we meet again peace